Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? My God, do you just press all these buttons? <laughs> I was really curious myself. <laughs> Figurine finders committee. There's our bucket. Bucket. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Well, I'd have to, I mean, I guess next time I could not grab the bucket. Oh, this is different. This is not the same. I mean, this is. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. How are you? We're just going to fly through some of these. <gasps> this is new. I thought that sign looked new. Mission status. Is this where we're missing? How many do we have? Are we missing two? Stairs. Something to do with stairs. Somewhere both red and blue. So, in the stairwell at the bottom, maybe? And then the red and blue door? Coming to a staircase, standing on the Hey, what's up, Tony? Upstairs to the boss's office. Ah, I knew it. There it is. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll The next question is, where was the red and blue door? I feel like it was up. But we're going to continue forward. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. Oh boy. His boss would think he was crazy. Here we go. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. <laughs> That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. I feel like I need to restart. He held the bucket close. He had felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. Uh-oh. And indeed. Now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them <laughs> were the... his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. Bucket! He had to find the bucket. Where he had are to you? He to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. What the? It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. I thought I was about to get a bucket. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Hi, g -Mass. how are you? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of 
course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion. Hi, EBM. It's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems <laughs> she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself. My life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. This is new. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Do we take the bucket this time? Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket right. calling to him. We're going to go through here, go to the employee lounge. And here it was. Had Nothing the crazy, that's fine. Correct, was it? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. The Stanley bucket the was wrong. To go back to the meeting room. No, we're going this way again. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Don't go room. to the meeting go room. Somewhere else. <laughs> the cargo lift, yes. Go there. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley All right, Bucket. Question why or how this Bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because Buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not Whee! to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the Bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the Bucket asked. Okay, we were here before. No, stop. Look Open there it. on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no Buckets pass this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the Bucket here? Unless... What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What now, the hell is this? I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one, is this a bucket? Should we answer truthfully or no? <laughs> what do you think? Do we answer truthfully or no? Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item two. What is the f this a bucket? Yeah. God damn it. <gasps> Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Nice. <sighs> Item three. Is this a bucket? Yeah. Correct. This is a bucket. We got one wrong. We're trying to actually get it wrong. Item four. Is this a bucket? What? Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. Looks I like thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. Look like a bucket to me. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. This is a bucket. <laughs> Item six. Is this a bucket? Yes. Trick Damn. question. Both. Gotcha. <laughs> Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. 
It's a human bucket. Uh, yeah. Okay. Damn it. You and I both know there isn't anything here. <laughs> And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore <laughs> nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Yes. Answer me straight, Stanley. I did. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? I do. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all hey, sense Fox. of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game wow. entirely. Wow. Okay. Wow. Here we go. Hey. Anonymous! Wow. Hey, he took my bucket. What Thank happened? you for gifting a sub. Is gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait. I might be a bucket. Everything a bucket. Flash bucket emote? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. <gasps> oh my god, I had no idea. How could. Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, we're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Are we about to see nothing but buckets?